challenge. I gotta do 52 paintings in 2022. It's August, don't even ask how it's going. It's busy, life is busy. Anyways, I'm not allowed, the rules are, I'm not allowed to count them toward my goal until they're art resin. And so obviously I have a couple done now, but, but there's still a lot more to go. And here's how it's going. Okay, it's resin day. We are gonna resin some paintings. Why? Because I have a lot of paintings done and they're not really done until they're resin, let's be honest. So, we have some paintings, we have some helpers. This is the lovely Tracy and Tanya. I call them TNT, you know why? Because the dynamite. We are gonna mix some resin, we are gonna put on our gloves, we are gonna spread, and then we're gonna get out of there. So, are you ready, Jeff? Ready. Let's go, let's do it. Tanya, are we working in a well-ventilated area? Yes. Great. That's why we're not wearing a mask. I have to tell you that I have not yet reached the 20% mark. So I need to kick it up into high gear. You know, sometimes painting comes in fits and spurts, right? Like sometimes you just feel like painting, sometimes you don't feel like painting. So sometimes with this challenge, I have felt like it's been a little bit forced. And I'm like, oh crap, I gotta make a painting right now. What am I gonna do? It's a lot more fun when it's like, ooh, I got a great idea. I can't wait to start, you know? What I am happy with so far is that the paintings look really different. I'm just kind of like, going with any little bit of inspiration that hits me. And as a result, I'm coming up with a lot of original stuff, new stuff. That's a good side effect of this challenge. All right, and now we resin. Here we go, Jeff. Look at how the color pops, like right away, eh? When I have a painting that doesn't have resin on it, and I'm not just saying this, it doesn't impress me the same as a painting that, you know, has resin on it. I don't know, it just looks professional when it has resin on it. If you ask me, I just like to go doop, 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 and nudge it out to the edge. I tend to always want whatever's fast and easy. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, quick and easy, we got that done, and now we just got a torch, put a cover on it, and get out of here, and wait for tomorrow. Wait for the reveal tomorrow. <laughs> so now I just go through and I pick out any little doggy hairs. So now we're just gonna cover these and we're gonna put these paintings to bed tonight. Come back tomorrow and see the big reveal. Okay, good night. Bye. So we only resin three paintings today only. Uh, and that's because we only had space for three, but also because some of these other paintings that I have finished, they have a lot of white in them. So you can always, always use art resin over white. But did you know that you should really let your paint cure out completely. And that means like four weeks, if you're, especially if you're using white, let it all cure out until it is so completely dry. And then you put your resin on top and then you have, uh, you mitigate any sort of like yellowing effects that can happen because of the relationship between the titanium dioxide and resin. So that is your tip. Okay, so we resin, we're done. I get to check these off the list and now we get to do the big reveal. So are you ready? Are you ready for this? Ah, oh yeah, I love it. Look at that. Look at that, Jeffrey. Woohoo! it looks good. Look at those colors. Okay, next, the next one. Aw, it's so good. Yes. Okay, so I really like using acrylics when I paint because they're nice and bright. And, and then you put our resin on top and they get even brighter. So check this one out. Right? So good, right? I'm very happy with that. That's a flawless finish. But who say so myself? I'll have to tell Tracy she did an amazing job. And last but not least, our lady. Here she be. Nice. So this is a simple painting. It's 
just, you know, blue and white. And obviously we've got like a figure happening here, but there's, it's not super detailed. It was like a fast painting. I did it in about an hour and a half. And then you put the art resin on top and I have to say, like it comes to life. So there you go. It just makes it that much more special with the resin on top. Again, if I do say so myself. <laughs> so there you go, that's what I got for you today. Come back another day, I'm gonna have some more paintings for you, and you're welcome. <laughs>